Okay, now let's look at CMV retinitis. Where do we see CMV retinitis? Obviously, in immunocompromised patients, such as HIV patients. What will this patient complain of? Okay, um, this patient will complain of a blurry vision. Not just that, he will also see floaters. He will come to the doctor and be like, Doc, I see floaters. At this time, the doctor will do an ophthalmologic examination, mostly with a fundoscope. And what he will see is perivascular hemorrhage. Why this happens is because the blood that leaves the vessels and deposits around the vessels. It's, a, it's called a hemorrhage. And they will also see fluffy infiltrates. It is almost pathonomic. That means very characteristic of a CME retinitis. Fluffy exudates. Okay? So now this physician will treat this patient with the help of Gan cyclover, which is usually in available in the IV form, or he has another option of using Val Gan cyclover, which is available in oral form. That that way they can also send them home on this medication. IV always has to be obviously administered. In the hospital itself. The problem with these drugs, especially GAN cyclover, is that it can cause neutropenia. And here's the catch because most of a lot of HIV patients are also already taking um, AZT, right? AZT causes macrocytic anemia. And that is why if a patient is already taking AZT, you want to avoid GAN cyclovir in those patients. Or if you're giving them GAN cyclovir, make sure that you avoid giving them AZT. Okay? The other options for CME retinitis could also be cedophobia. But the problem with cedophobia is that it is nephrotoxic. All right, toxic to your kidneys. Here's your kidney. And another option is phoscarnet. Again, very, very toxic to the kidneys. Not just that, it will also cause hypocalcemia. Remember this. Very important because then we know they will have, start to have manifestations of hypocalcemia which is not desirable along with CME retinitis symptoms. It just makes their life even more miserable. So in these patients with CME retinitis, we have to put them on a lifelong prophylaxis of one of these medications. Most other times it is well, again, cyclover, if they have to take it oral, obviously. And you take it once they're infected, unless you can stop when their CD4 count goes above 100. Okay, obviously you're taking this again with your antiretroviral therapy. If their CD4 count goes above 100, you can stop the GAN cyclover or stop one of these prophylaxis medications, but at the condition that you will call the patient back every three months, follow up, and do an ophthalmologic examination every three months. And that is CME retinitis.